I'm back from a holiday, guys. I'm starting to get back to regular content here on From the Anvil. I'd always got away for a week. I did film a video during my holiday just to bridge the gap. I'm now back. I'm still feeling a little bit jet lagged, even though it was a domestic flight. I jumped between time zones from Alberta to Quebec and vice versa. Coming back, I lost two hours and uh, I really do f still feel a little bit tired. Um, to me, everything's two hours ahead. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get back into the flow of things. I've had a busy few days unpacking, doing laundry and working as well. Um, but I'm not stopping videos. I've just hadn't had time to do it. And you know, life just catches up to you sometimes. So I'm just doing this quick video to finally tell you all that the Jesse Lingard saga is over. He doesn't want to come back to West Ham. Moyes has not been able to convince the player to sign permanently. After a whole year or so of rumours that he's returning, he's not coming back. If anything, I'm just glad that this is now all water under the bridge and that it's all done. Because we can now pursue other targets. This club has a tendency to hold itself back by pursuing players that do not want to come and trying to throw everything at the such players in an attempt to even make them to change their mind for even a nanosecond. It's not going to work like that. Now that Lingard has stated that he doesn't want to come back to West Ham, wish him best on his future endeavours, but he might have made a wrong decision. Um... I'd take him in the team because I think he'd definitely improve us. I'm grateful for everything that he did in his loan spell. I'm grateful that he helped us to get Europa League football. I'm grateful for the impact he made on the team. But now is the time West Ham needs to move on and look at other options. There's plenty of other players out there. This Ludovic Blas player who plays for Nantes in France, he has been recommended. He's been offered to West Ham, apparently. He had, I believe, 15 goals and assists in League 1 last season. Maybe he'll look at him as an alternative. But now that Lingard has said no to West Ham, it's actually doing more good than it is bad. Because we have clarity. When the player's made his mind up, he doesn't want to come back. His feelings have been made quite clear, according to ex-West Ham United employee. Whatever Lingard does in the future, it's up to him. He's been treated like crap at Manchester United, a club that he's been at since the age of nine, and a club that gave him next to no um, respect in saying goodbye to him. So, you know, he's now got to make a decision about what he wants to do with his future. Does he want to stay in this country? Well, I can't say this country because I'm in Canada. Does he want to stay in England? Does he want to go abroad? Does he want to go to another league? Does he want to go to the MLS even? I don't know what he wants to do. But he's not coming back to West Ham. And now we have some closure on this matter. It's time to look at other targets. I know that Rob Newman appears to have been doing a lot of work in this transfer window and appears to have done a lot of scouting, which is great. Lingard was always Moyes' number one target, but I doubt that he was really on Newman's list. Moyes always has liked Lingard, but he can't convince the guy to come back to West Ham, so it's now just done and dusted. Now we have to think of a plan B. Who do we pursue instead of Lingard? Surely we've got to have other options out there. I know I would. I'd look at other players in the foreign market. I'd look at players that I even mentioned in my scouting report videos. I'd look at younger players as well, and players that are reasonably wanting to come on a good wage, because 180000 a week for a nearly 30-year-old, that make him our highest paid player. Like, come on. I'm not saying I won't pay the money, but be realistic. Is that going to happen? No. It's not. And even if Lingard did join, there might be a bit of a disjointed feeling about it because of his wages and his age. So I don't know. There are a lot of what could have been's about this. But one thing is for sure. Lingard doesn't want to come back to West Ham. He's not returning to the bowl. 
fair enough. I respect his decision. I respect him as a player. I'm not going to say whether he made the right or wrong decision. It's really not my call. Time will tell. But he's not coming back to West Ham. And that's the bottom line of this video. So, it's a pity. It is what it is. It's done and dusted. It's gone. It's done. Finito. Let's just look at other targets. Which is what we should be doing. Because I just knew that this day might come. Thank you very much for watching this very quick wheel and deal video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.